Greetings, Earthlings, Wisdom Keepers, Wisdom Seekers. Welcome back to Wisdom Drops, your source for daily drops of wisdom and savvy cat astrology. Meow. My name is Tanya, and today I am showing you my inner queen a little bit more than other times, perhaps, because like you, Libra, I am a Libra sun and a very late Libra degree sun at that. So I'm celebrating my belated birthday. Happy belated birthday to all Libras out there. It was just time, you know, it didn't really feel totally birthday-ish at the time of my birthday. And it's a month now from when I was born on the 22nd of October. So here we are, <laughs> Libra, ascendant, sun, or moon. This video is for you. And specifically, it's showing you the next six months, Libra, of your life and what is destined, what is literally written in the stars, baby, for the next six months of your life. Because eclipses bring faded events, seriously faded events for six months ahead of time, okay? So Libra, be aware that what I'm about to share with you is to be used at your discretion. It is showing you what's likely to happen the next six months. That is karmic, that is destined, that is faded. It is written kind of energy, Libra. But also be aware that you are able to influence things accordingly. And uh, not all the time, because some things are just already set in stone and is written, but you can influence for better or for worse how things shake out, okay? And I think there's there's a lot of good on offer for you, Libra. Don't you worry. Um, but I just want to give you that caveat. Also, I did a video on just this eclipse in general. If you want to see it, you can. Now, Libra, before I jump into those juicy details to share them with you, a couple quick announcements. Number one, if you are not yet subscribed to this YouTube channel, what are you doing? I put out a video every single day of the week. So be here for it because I'm here for you. Number two, Libra, like this video if it brings you any value whatsoever because that helps other Libras get this information. And I'm here to edutain all the y'alls and help you better navigate the stars of your life. So like the video, it brings you any value whatsoever because it helps more Libras get this information for their lives and how they might navigate things accordingly. It's also a, just a good way to lift your Libra sister up. You know what I'm saying? Just get that, get that like button. Um, and no matter what you do with the like button, it helps you get more views, by the way, just FYI. Okay, Libra, now let's jump into the chart for you and sharing what it is you can expect for the next six months. So Libra, we have a very interesting scene to look at for you, okay? Number one, the moon is in your ninth house of Gemini and it's conjunct the North Node. That's what makes this whole thing a, a kit and caboodle of an eclipse. So with that said, um, more things are gonna be coming into your life. North Node is where the energy tends to grow and where we're supposed to send our energy uh, to grow in our lives, right? At any given moment they will be coming into your life that are of ninth house themes and ninth house is a freaking awesome house libras i know things have been rough in the home environment or in your roots environment your legacy environment whatever you haven't really felt like over the last couple of years even libra like you've had a safe home environment or a place to really just like anchor yourself i think this is a refresher from that i think this is a break from that and a breakthrough from that and so anyway, the ninth house is also goals that have been accomplished more than goals. It's like, um, dreams. It's like, it's like, it's like true joy. It's like benevolent joy. It's also higher wisdom. It's also higher knowledge. It's deeper knowing it's occult knowledge. Actually, it's not just the eighth house that that belongs to It's the ninth house. It's spiritual knowledge and it's, it's wisdom, the ninth house. And it's, it's joyful experience of that. So it's pleasurable. It's a lot of joy. It's a lot of, um, you know, it's not pain. It's not suffering. It's really just good energy. But there's more to read here than just that, Libra. And we're going to go a little deeper, which is the theme of the next six months for you. Not only might you find yourself studying higher knowledge, whether that's through academia or a more informal self-guided education system, maybe it's some form of like uh, courses that you're participating with online, whatever, for the next six months. But how do we read this deeper? We look at the planet that rules the sign the moon is in at the time of this lunation. And the planet that rules or the dispositor of Gemini is the Mercury. You guessed it. And Mercury is in Scorpio. Mercury is in your second house, Libra, for the next you know six months of influence. Not 
for the next six months, but for the terms of influence, it's for there for the next six months. So Libra, be aware that you have on offer an ability to grow your finances, baby. I know it's like the best interpretation. Not all signs are getting this good of news. So congratulations um, in advance for the next six months. And not only that, but look, your finances, because it's in your second house, also have the benefit of Venus there. Could you get any better, Libra? Venus, as you know, is your planetary ruler, uh, explains our, our like, affinity towards peace and harmony and more beautiful things things like that but it's also uh in your second house and it's it's a, the second house is where we accumulate things so venus the planet that rules money 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 is in your second house of abundance and what you grow and what you hold on to and with it the, that it's in uh, other people uh other people's resources sign of scorpio you could have more abundance through other people and that could be part of your foundation for accumulating money and that's just kind of part of your life in general because you have a second house scorpio as a libra right but it's more so pronounced now because venus is transiting there and not only that but she's opposite uranus look at that opposition like pow baby like right across and that's saying, uh, be aware of how breakthrough energy can come forward and help you and heal you and basically support you in revelation moments about like, damn, I'm actually supposed to do this for money in my life. Who knew? You could have those sorts of moments and experiences over the next six months, Libra. So just be aware of that, okay? Because Uranus is there at the party like surprise, this is the truth about your financial reality and what you're meant to do with your life. So just be aware of that. And Lilith is there. So you're you're releasing the chains off of yourself in this truth, Libra, because if you didn't see the video I just did on that, you can check it out. But, uh, you know, Lilith is with Uranus. So it's like some real like freedom, liberation energy. And this is all, of course, from your eighth house. Again, other people's resources. So if you're a Libra who's been working through debt, you could have a liberation of debt right now. You see how that plays out? Because the eighth house, uh, Taurus is the eighth whole sign. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight from your sign, okay? Uh, you could also have a liberation through figuring out how to better use other people's resources. Again, with that echoing that Scorpio Venus uh, thing that's going on here with, even though it's in the second house, it still has another person, another people's resources in the mix, right? The other thing Libra, as I was saying earlier to finish this Mercury thought up, uh, the whole thing about this, the whole thing of this eclipse is symbolized by Mercury, the whole darn thing, because Mercury is the ruler of the moon and Mercury is in Scorpio. So you're going very deeply into your joy. Ninth house is the house of joy. You're going very deeply into your higher knowledge, into your spiritual wisdom, into your spiritual truth, Gemini, ninth house. And it's sending really delicious sextiles to all of these planets of fate, Saturn, karma, Saturn, and Pluto, and belief in spirituality, Jupiter, in your fourth house, Libra. So home is going to become where the heart really is from a really functional place, from a really structural place, from a place of uh, wisdom and centeredness, and, and really something worth having. Saturn is what's worth having. It's what's worth working for. Solutions are just going to come like magic in that home environment and you deserve it libra Whew, after what you've been through the last couple of years with the saturn influence here in that fourth house of roots legacy etc solutions are going to come mercury's the solution is they're going to come from a deeper place of thinking because scorpio is the deepest uh point in the zodiac right and mercury is there so deeper thoughts about financial management deeper thoughts about how to tangibly structure even your home environment into a, a place that you make money from libra because the fourth house to that second house kind of sextile that's happening. There ain't no kind of two, it is a sextile. Other than that, Mars in your seventh house, but it's in mostly, well, it has like a hard aspect to Pluto, but that's really just you saying, it's saying to you like, get your financial game together, girl, boy, because um, the two rulers of Scorpio are Mars and Pluto and they're in a square. So we're, we're at being asked to put in the work. In other words, the square energy is put in the work energy um with your efforts and your willpower in relationship to network groups to partnership groups to partners who you're with who you're involved with ask your partners to put in work with all this eighth house second house seventh house activation it's supported it's divinely supported for the next six months okay um and also you put in effort in relationship to your partnerships and it will come back to reward you 
and it will reward you in your communications because the sun is there in your third house. This is also the house of business in ancient astrology, the third house. So if you have your own business in your Libra, you go out there and you entrepreneurialize yourself, it's going to come back to support you with terms of how you communicate third house and also your own business. And anybody you're partnered with will benefit because Mars is with them in a forward moving direction of strength in its own sign. And it's saying, yeah, get it together, put in the effort to gain the abundance. Mars or Pluto, that's all it's saying. Put in the effort. And you might not even have to put in that much effort because Scorpio is a very receptive energy. But use that intuition strategically over the next six months, Libra. That's my wisdom to you. Okay, okay. I hope this video brought you value. If it did, hit that like button so that other Libras can get the 411 and all that good news, okay? Like, it's good news time. With that said, subscribe if you're not already. Thank you to everybody who is a long-term and even newbie subscriber. I appreciate you very much. And with that said, through next time, until next time, may the stars be with you.